is the longest running weekly episodic television series in history. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. WWE is her passion. Used to wrestle with her brothers in their New Jersey backyard. Liv Morgan has come a long way from those backyard competitions. One of the brightest stars in WWE's women's division. Missouri, Alex! I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. She is ready for this big match, and she knows everyone backstage will be watching her make an impact. There's the bell, and we're looking at a superstar who many have considered to be a natural in the sport. It doesn't take long to see why she's garnered such praise. She has the instincts that not even the most seasoned veterans possess. It is hard to disagree with that assessment. But across the way is a superstar absolutely brimming with potential. Liv Morgan. Liv has every tool she needs to be a top talent here in WWE. And with every match, we see her become a stronger and more impressive competitor. I completely agree with that assessment, Corey. Liv's unique creativity in the ring makes her fun to watch. And you really can't help but think that the sky is the limit for her. Nobody home for that one. And she has an answer for Liv. Steady drop kick. Great ups. Corey, what exactly can Liv Morgan do to turn the tide in her favor tonight? Liv needs to lean into her unique ability to create chaos. Liv has a style all her own, and the more she lets that come out to play, the harder it'll be for her opponent to counter her attacks. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. Drop kick! Oh, oh, great height. Liv Morgan needs to figure this out. Yeah, Liv's defensive instincts need to kick in. Stomping. Ouch. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Oh, my God. Oh, slap. Disrespect. Steady drop kick. Great ups. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Climbs back inside. She will wisely return to the ring now. She'll be able to do it again. Ooh, got her right in the eye. She's losing some steam now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. And Morgan saves herself. Reversal from Morgan. And that failed to hit the mark. to figure this out. Yeah, Morgan has the divide. And here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. Working that hold now. This is excruciating. Look at the... And she's
she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. This is going to be good. Without a doubt, one of the greatest Lucha Libre stars in sports entertainment history. Break out your notepads because we are about to receive a master class in high flying. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 175 pounds. Mysterio! One of the most inspirational superstars ever is Rey Mysterio, who's now leading a second Mysterio generation with his son Dominic. And his opponent from London, England. Weighing in at 275 pounds, John Price. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who can blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. This superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone we're going to take his head off? All I can say is we've seen Adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. And he's facing off against Rey Mysterio, a competitor who is known to bring the fight with a lot of heart. You find out real quick that Rey is tough to keep down. Mysterio shows no fear and has a larger shadow than his stature would determine. But there are a lot of people in the locker room who want to be the one to say, I brought down the biggest little man in WWE. Rey Mysterio is so difficult to plan for because he can adapt to so many situations. That brings up the question, is there something an opponent can detect during the match to get the upper hand? But ever since his return, we've seen opponents employ strange new strategies to get at Mysterio. Targeting his eye, threatening his family. You have to think of new tricks to get one over on a savvy veteran like Rey. But when you find a weakness, you have to attack it with passion. Oh, what a punch! Driving down with the axe handle.
The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Short jab. It's raining down those shots to the back of the neck. So just a beat down. Big forearm. Big blow. Could be felt throughout the arena. To stop in every. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. And the world forces the break. Great effort, though. He climbs into the ring. tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, well, I kind of did too. Considers herself the EST of WWE, the strongest, fastest, toughest, and all-around best superstar the company has to offer. And one of the most athletic superstars to ever come out of the performance for the cover. And skirts out of the pen. She still has her expelling unnecessary energy with that attempt. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Think about all the pain she's in right now. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Alexa Bliss in position. Oh, wow. Ah, <laughs> oh, 
Bless. Look at this. Vintage Alexa Bless. Ooh, well measured. Setting foot in the ring now. Oh, it's up knees right to the gut. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. And Belair is being broken down. Bianca here in a disheartening position. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. She got launched. To the outside. This could get wild. Bianca Belair is a superstar who has all the tools for success here. And considering her stance on being the EST of WWE, she clearly agrees with that assessment. But Corey, is there any specific tool out of Belair's toolbox that you would say she should focus on using most in this matchup? Of course. Belair fancies herself the strongest, the fastest, the toughest. The list goes on. But tonight, what's most important is that she's the smartest. Belair is as athletic as it comes. But none of that matters if she can't ultimately outsmart and outthink her opponent. Bianca gets rescinded right back. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Back and forth from these competitors. Slam! The out-of-this-world athleticism of Bianca... Say good night. KOD. Bad spot for Bliss here. Makes the cover. Two, three. Hard fought victory. I'm on my own against the wall. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win. Hard not to agree with you, Cole. It was an incredible victory. Yeah, I mean, a hard-fought matchup. Yeah, that's a great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. You gotta love it. No one in the history of WWE has done for this company what John Cena has. Not only inside the ring, but outside the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds. the biggest star in WWE history and, well, on his way to becoming the biggest star, perhaps in Hollywood, too. Proclaimed by Mr. McMahon as the Dave Ruth of WWE, there is nothing John Cena has not accomplished in sports entertainment. Michael, it got to like yesterday for you when you saw John Cena win his first WWE Championship by defeating JBL at WrestleMania 21. That was back in 2005. You call me old. No, I'm just saying you're a And his opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 273 pounds, Carlos Rodriguez. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down.
What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent with a renewed hostility that we've never seen before. Yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition pay for mercy. Also in the ring tonight is a man who is at the absolute top of this industry. Not up high. Likely just trying to sap out some energy with that cover. Given John Cena's long and storied career, there's plenty of tape to study if you're his opponent. Does that put Cena at a disadvantage? Well, Cole, if you're smart, you come into this match having reviewed plenty of Cena's big matches, learned his go-to strategies, and maybe even developed some counters for his most hard-hitting attacks. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace that this match has certainly picked up. Nice counter by Cena. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Oh, into a power bomb. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Really just laying it in. And Cena's able to evade. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. What a right hand.
And the control he shows inside the ring is really impressive, guys. Michael, that's a product of him understanding the importance of discipline and continually practicing it, regardless of the circumstances. This is gonna be good. And his partner, accompanied by Wolf Murphy from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 244 pounds, the ladies' man. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our Tag Team Championship match. And this is the one I've been waiting for all day, Cole. What these teams can do inside that ring never ceases to amaze me. They always seems to have a great deal of respect for the sports entertainment industry, both past and present. That truly is an important component of success, Michael. If you can gain an understanding of what those who came before you did to be successful, then you're sure to be successful yourself. Combined weight of 479 pounds. Jimmy and Jay, the Uso. The Raw Tag Division is as hot as it's ever been. And it's due to teams like these, the champions and challenger. Without a doubt, the Raw Tag Team Championship is the top tag title in all of WWE right now. Raw's tag teams prove it every year at Survivor Series. Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. Tag team match underway. Bragging rights in the division are on the line. Highly competitive tag team division in WWE. Winning this match will go a long way in separating yourselves from the pack. Punch! What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Did you hear that impact? Oh, that'll leave a mark. Oh, he fights Jay back. Oof. Good contact. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Oh, brutal form. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, even though he's still got a lot of fight in him, you might want to make a tag now and not risk further harm. And back. He's in now. Finally. Standing drop kick. Great ups. He drop connects. So precise. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Oh, Just putting their body in danger time and time again. Jimmy saw it coming. Rocked with a headbutt. But not done yet. A second one. Dolly shoulder tackle. Gets the tag. Set up for the throw. Sweet. Nicely done. Going counter for 
Counter. Counter after counter. Bang, what a slap. Touches could be coming Jay's way here. It looks like we're going to see Selena Del Sol. Jay is down and out. And he stops the count for his partner. Real European uppercut. Jimmy's looking help now a pen for the championship. And he only stays down for a one count. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Instinct at this point. Big four. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Ron has got the mark. Pin attempt for the championship. One, two, yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. Almost inhuman at this point. Double drop. He's just getting beaten on all fronts here. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Jay Uso can come back from this. After all, he has been down since day one-ish. What does that even mean? And he's keeping the pressure. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. One, two, three. Got it. And the tag titles change hands here tonight. Boy, this team's on fire. I mean, I don't know how you stop them. I don't know if you can. They're firing on all cylinders. And the WWE fans absolutely love them. I mean, it is so much fun to watch. You don't have to like them, but you got to respect them. These two get it done inside the ring. Uh, here comes the evil genius of the sky. Genius being the operative word. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Bailey from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. One of the most decorated competitors in Japanese women's wrestling history. And Io Shirai has continued that success in NXT and WWE. Already one of the best women competitors in NXT history. Well on her way towards making the same mark on the rest of WWE as well. The 
Mikey Lynch never backs down from a fight, and as a result, has earned everyone's respect. And accompanied by Alexa Bliss from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. One of the trailblazers in the women's evolution, part of the four first women. teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Showing by this tag team. That's about as perfect 
an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. Well, she was once one of the sweetest. She's now one of the meanest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, Bayley. Hey, despite what you think about Bayley, there's no denying what she's accomplished. The first Grand Slam champion in the women's division. And there's also no denying that Bailey has no problem stepping on anyone along the way. Because Bailey thanks herself for all of her accomplishments. And you can't argue with the results. Bailey knows how to win. Grown tired of being an underdog. She's tired of being overlooked. It's toppled every foe that stood in her way. And from Chicago, Illinois, Jessica Megan. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Bro, this match right here is the absolute definition of history making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. And she's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her careers. Well, she should be. I can respect that, Michael. She clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. There's the bell, and we're looking at a superstar who many have considered to be a natural in the sport. It doesn't take long to see why she's garnered such praise. She has the instincts that not even the most seasoned veterans possess. It is hard to disagree with that assessment. Yeah, and Bailey, she's got a list of accomplishments in both NXT and WWE a mile long. She truly is a role model, and if we're lucky, maybe, just maybe, she'll beat some recognition into her competition here tonight. Uh, if we're lucky, maybe Bailey will focus more on action. Here's the pin, title on the line. She powers out immediately there. Not a very effective pin attempt. Yeah. And Bailey never saw that coming. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Corey, tell me, what does Bailey have to do to assure victory in this match? Well, victory's never assured, Cole, but Bailey's a competitor who knows how to find and really hone in on her opponent's weakness. If she breaks her down tonight, it could be the key to victory. Ooh, what a full club. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. And Bailey's having trouble managing his onslaught. Bailey's being cut off at every pass. Bailey not looking very role model like there. Quite the opposite, in fact. She's being made somewhat of an example here. Drop in the knee. Oh, God. Knee meets face. job refocusing to reverse that. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Oh, the reversal by Bailey. Now Bailey looking for some momentum. Yeah, she's getting a determined focus again. Oh, hard impact in the corner. 
Looking for the home run. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. Yeah. It with precision. Yeah. Big form. Stanky drop kick. Great ups. Bailey's on the edge of defeat. Can she respond? sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. Now a pin for the championship. Look who it is! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Catherine Murphy from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 181 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Wolf Murphy. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever.
Out here now, Damian Priest, and the Archer of Infamy is a man of impressive agility and outright devastating offense. Calculating and cool, Damian Priest leans on his martial arts background, ensuring each move is forceful and consequential. Absolutely, Byron. And any opponent that ends up on the receiving end of Priest's offense will end up battered and bruised. But he'll be taking on an individual who is turning a lot of heads as of late. He's gained a level of popularity that is steadily growing week by week, and he wants to prove that the hype is legitimate. From the middle rope, oh, what a splash! Stomping down! He's absorbed some damage already. Damian Priest is quite the imposing opponent. Corey, how can you get the upper hand in a man this devious? You just answered your own question, Cole. Priest is in from the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Taking a chance one more time and landing within. Shoulders down, this could be it. One, two, and they kick out at two. He really thought that was it. Ooh. Priest is having problems here. As much as I hate to see it, we are seeing that Priest is mortal. His weakness has been found. Priest holds him off. Boom, right the button. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. I don't think Priest knows what's coming. Kick to the midsection. Hoist it up. Disorienting spin and down we go. Will that stop Priest? Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. Just dished out his most devastating offense, and you gotta be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. He is getting shredded apart right now. Priest has to find a way to right the ship. From the middle rope, oh, what a splash! said she wants to make a statement with tonight's match, and the entire division needs to take note. From fabulous to untouchable. Here comes a self-proclaimed the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Saxton, how many times do I have to tell you many other people make the same proclamation? This is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. That is my unbiased opinion. Yeah, sure it is. And from Staten Island, New York, Carmella! Carmella's proven herself as one of the most talented in-ring competitors, but according to Carmella and Corey, She's 
also the best looking. According to many people, Cole, you clearly just don't speak to the right people. Well, Byron told me she wasn't best looking. Why are you being a snitch, Michael? Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moonwalking, the trash talking remains, and let's be honest, I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. And here's the superstar who's been touted to display all the attributes needed to be at the top of the women's division. I agree with that, Michael. And no matter what success she's had, I believe there's even more untapped potential in her. And some superstars could allow praise to go to their head, but not her. She keeps focus on the task at hand. And then you have the untouchable Carmella. Some have a misinformed opinion about Mella as a superstar who just runs her mouth too much. And anyone with that view is drenched with envy, knowing that every time the bell rings, Carmella is able to back up every truth she speaks. I don't know if I would completely agree with all of that, Corey, but I will not deny that Carmella has been, on occasion, known to put her money where her mouth is once that bell rings. Corey, I'm not telling you anything you don't know by saying that Carmella has a tendency to run her mouth. Do you think that could possibly be a detriment here? Now, Cole, I would never suggest that Carmella should talk less. But I will say Carmella's trash talking possibly allows her competition the perfect opportunity to counterattack. All her opponent needs is one opening to capitalize on, and she could negate all of Carmella's masterful mind games. You know what here, Cole? Look, and the ropes break this one off. Great ring awareness there. Trampling the opposition. And Carmella fighting back. Oh, back fist to the mush. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Drops the knee. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Oh, what the I got? Carmelo's got to find a way back, but it looks like it might be too late. Compromised position for Carmelo. Cover. One, two, three. It's over. Oh, what a nice work. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win. It's hard not to agree with you, Cole. It was an incredible victory. Yeah, I mean, a hard-fought matchup. A great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. Gotta love it.